Hi everybody, I'm Gabrielle from Strand Pilates. We are going to work on the outer thighs, so that glute, gluteus medius here. Uh, today, just gonna show you one exercise, and I'll just do one side, and you can do the other, just so I can get um, descriptive in my cues. So the bar is gonna be up to our footwork position. I'm on two reds, that's two heavy springs, and I grabbed a yoga block for a pillow. If you don't have a yoga block, um, grab like a squishy ball. I do highly suggest getting a yoga block though to act for a little pillow. Um, so go ahead and lie down on your left side, head on the pillow, whatever you're using for that, and then we're going to place the right heel on the bar close to the corner, but not on the corner, but almost to the corner. So stack your shoulders whenever you're in side, lying sideways for Pilates. We don't want that, see how my right shoulder is pulled back and it's not right on top of the left? So you want to stack them up. So pulling the left shoulder back so it's under the right, and then the hips should be nice and stacked as well. So right hip is not pulling back, we're putting it right on top of the bottom. So once you stack your hips and your shoulders up, you should have a little space between your waist and the carriage since we should be all aligned. All right. So. Toes and kneecap point straight ahead, no rotation at the femur there at the hip socket. Hold on with your right hand to the shoulder block to gently press the shoulder block away so that your body doesn't scoop forwards. Engaging your right glute by actively pushing your right heel into the bar, go ahead and press the carriage out, lengthen and stretch, and with control push the carriage in. Pressing out, be really heavy on that right foot as you come in. So heavy in the right leg as you press the carriage back in. Trying not to overround the upper back. Try to stay nice and neutral through that pelvis and back. Nice, you guys. Straighten the leg all the way out. It's not so much a locking of the joints because our muscles are engaged and active, so it's an active stretch. Let's do two more. And last one. Bring it in, stay where you are. Turn the toes, that right, the right toes and the knee slightly up. When you do that though, try not to let that top hip roll back. Keep pressing the top hip forward so it stays right on top of your bottom hip and press out. So now our femur is in external rotations at our hip socket, but the hips are still pointing straight ahead. They're still square to the front there. I like to exhale to press out, inhale to come in. Again, fully stretching that right leg deepening the abdominal scoop to press out. Let's do two more. And last one. Then we're gonna bring it in and pause. Now the carriage is not gonna move anymore. We're just gonna pivot on that right heel to lower the leg to parallel to the floor and to open back up in external rotation. So just a little move. Really pivoting on that heel as their shape opens up Keep pushing that top hip forwards so it doesn't roll back like this. We really want to find the stability in the body and just let the leg move. This time, go ahead and bring the leg back to starting position. Hover your heel off the bar. Pretend that heel is still on the bar though and open the shape and close. So we're still pivoting on that heel, but we're pivoting on air. And I feel a lot right here, which is where you want to be feeling it. Your bottom leg, you'll also feel it because it's your whole body is trying to stabilize. So that is normal. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one. And then to polish it all off, you guys, come on up. Put your pillow aside. Place your left forearm on the headrest. Keep your bottom leg bent. Lift up out of your shoulder, 
out of your hips. Extend your right leg out over the bar. You can do this. Keeping the hips stacked, really reaching that foot. We're just gonna pulse up and down. So this is again for that glute med, you will feel it also in your waist. So it's a bonus. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower it down. Awesome. So um, now you would be doing the other side, but then let's go ahead and stretch. So after you do the other side, let's take off one red spring so you have one red spring left. Lie down on your back. Um, I'm going to stretch the side I worked on. So starting, grab the left strap, put your left foot inside the long loop, and place your right ankle over your left thigh. Figure four is stretch and you can bend that left knee. So this feels great because the weight of the springs, the weight of the strap, the strap is pull, trying to pull this way, which gives you an extra stretch for that right glute there. Trying to keep that right foot flexed. Nice. And this stretch feels so good. Hold it for as long as you want. You can never get enough of this stretch. If you want a bonus hamstring stretch after, you can let your right foot place on the platform, reach your left leg to the ceiling, stick your imaginary bunny tail back into the carriage, um, pressing the ribs down and just kind of find that length in the back of the left leg to feel a stretch. So the more our, the more the, when our pelvis is in neutral, you'll feel the hamstring stretch more. Cause see here, if I were to tuck my pelvis, press my low back into the carriage, it wouldn't be pulling on my hamstring as much. So by sticking my tailbone back into the carriage, that's gonna be pulling on that hamstring more, which is what we want for a stretch. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, there's so many more exercises you can do on the reformer for the glutes. Um, but I really like this series, so I thought I'd share it with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.